Is humanity ready for the discovery of an alien civilization? Probably not, based on the way people react to the uh, report that was delivered to Congress about unidentified objects uh, that we don't understand the nature of. And even before that, in 2017, there was a, an object uh, that came from outside the solar system, given the name Oumuamua, and it didn't look like any of the rocks we've seen before within the solar system. And uh, the possibility that it's, it's artificial in origin, that it came from another technological civilization, is dismissed by most people. And that illustrates to me that um, many people prefer to close the curtains on our windows and claim that we are unique and special and smart and there is no neighbor out there. But the point is, not looking through our windows does not get rid of our neighbors. Right, right. So you don't think we're alone in the universe? Probably not, because uh, I believe in modesty, that we are nothing special. In fact, half of the sun-like stars have a planet the size of the Earth, roughly at the same separation. And the, most of the stars from billions of years before the sun. So it's very likely that there was a civilization like ours, or even more advanced, that predated us. And they sent equipment into space, just like we, we are sending. And uh, that equipment could have reached us. A long time ago. Tell me about the Galileo project and some of your main objectives. Yeah, so we want to search for equipment sent by other civilizations and it could be artificial intelligence, it could be very smart, just like kids that we educate at a young age, give them uh, guidelines for how to get uh, engaged with the world and then send them off and they act autonomously. So you can imagine probes being sent from an advanced civilization a long time ago that reached every habitable planet within the Milky Way galaxy, including our own. And the only way to find out if that is the reality that we live in is to look out. And so the Galileo project aims to place telescopes that survey the sky and if they see anything unusual that doesn't look like a bird or an airplane or a drone, then the telescopes will take a close up look at those and maybe get a megapixel image, a high resolution photograph of objects that in the past were claimed to be unidentified in the report to Congress, for example. Right, right. And so we want to really identify their nature. And if we can read off the label on them, it could say made in country X here on Earth, or it could say made on exoplanet why? Somewhere else. We want to figure it out. What if you don't find anything? Well, that's also useful because uh, at the moment uh, a lot of high-level officials, uh, such as former CIA directors Brennan and Woolsey, former President Barack Obama, uh, talked seriously about these objects being real but unidentified. And we can clear up the fog uh, using the scientific method. So far, no scientists try to do that. And that's unfortunate because it leaves the public uh, with a uh, need to speculate about what these objects might be. Of course, if we find that they were produced by another nation, that would be a matter of national security. And the fact that the intelligence agencies came to Congress and said, we don't know what some of the objects we see in our sky are, that's an admission of their failure to, because they are getting paid to do that. And so uh, I think this subject needs to move from the realm of uh, national security advisors or politicians or military personnel to the realm of science, where we can get high quality images and data on the same objects we see on the sky. It's just like astronomy. In astronomy, we're trying to look at objects very far away in the sky by using telescopes. Here, we're using telescopes to monitor objects that are much closer to us. And in a way, you're using telescopes in both cases, but you're focusing on other things. And I think it could be just part of the mainstream in science, trying to figure out the nature of objects that are close to us to see if any of them is of extraterrestrial technological origin, because that would have a huge impact on our right. society if we do find one. And just one. It's possible that it's a mixed bag and most objects 
have a simple mundane explanation, but if we find one that is extraterrestrial, that would have a huge impact. And, you know, we never know. It's like a fishing expedition. You go out, you throw your hook, and let's see what kind of fish we will find.